Large fishes, such as this zebra shark, often find themselves with company in the form of a shark sucker, otherwise known as a remora. The remora's dorsal fin has evolved into a sucker that it uses to attach itself to its host. As well as hitching a free ride, the shark sucker picks up scraps that its host leaves when feeding. Large pelagic fishes, such as whale sharks, can play host to great numbers of shark suckers. The shark sucker lacks the swim bladder that other fishes use to control their buoyancy, and so it needs its host to survive. Shark suckers do their part by cleaning small parasites, such as isopods, from the host's skin. Shark suckers will attach themselves to just about any moving object significantly larger than themselves. For example, porcupine fishes and parrot fishes. Even divers sometimes find themselves playing host. Another fish that likes the slipstream of a much larger host is the cobia. The sight of a cobia almost always indicates that something much larger is close by. Cobias feed on the faeces of their host. Manta rays and whale sharks are particular favourites. Shoals of blotched fantail rays can attract hundreds of cobias. This grey reef shark has a cobia and a shark sucker for company. But this grey reef shark is being tracked by rainbow runners, not cobias. At first sight it might seem they are behaving in the same way, but actually the rainbow runner's motive is different. They rub themselves against the shark's rough skin in order to remove algae and parasites from their own bodies. White tip reef sharks sometimes get the same treatment. These rainbow runners are cleaning themselves against a free-swimming hawksbill turtle as it returns from breathing at the surface. Feather duster worms are rooted statically to the reef and feed by filtering plankton from the water.